let's make a computer mouse. Uh, we would like to have some mouse dimensions, so we have a link here. So maybe around 100 millimeter, 68 wide, 38 high. Okay, let's go for SolidWorks. A new part. Okay. If I start with a side view silhouette of the mouse, we can go for this and choose sketch. And sketch again. Let's do a center line. And if we dimension this center line here, so let's say the length here will be around 100 millimeter. Then we know that we're working in a appropriate scale. Let's go for a spline. And escape. And now we could start to design this a little bit. If we click on the spline, you could also set the direction of, of the side here and it should go straight up. So if that point is selected, you could force it to be vertical. Let's do the same thing in the front here. Vertical. You could still change the power of this one. So if you bring it down here, it will still go straight up, but in a very short distance. So here we could adjust a little bit. Okay, and the overall height around 38. So let's force it to 38, something like that. I go out from the sketch. And we could name it. So I call this side profile. Let's do the top profile. I go for sketch again. And I will choose the top plane. So look at the corner. We're inside a sketch. Let's go for space bar and normal too. So again, I will choose a spline. Um, maybe there, and maybe there, and escape. And I do something similar again. So I click on the spline and force this to be vertical. This one too. And we could still change the, the power of this one and this one here um, here we should set the width so a nice thing to do here is to use symmetry if you have a center plan center line we could dimension that point to the center line and if you go on the other side of the center line, you see that it it takes like a mirror here. It takes the complete width of the mouse. And now I have already forgot. So let's jump to the web page here, around 68, and we're pretty close. So 68, and of course you could choose your own dimensions. I'm happy with this. So I go out from the sketch. Let's rename this one. Top profile. Now we could stretch uh, a surface directly here between these two here. But if you would like to have a little bit extra uh, guidance for the surface we could also have a guide curve so if I take one of these planes and just control drag somewhere around here so you could just decide where you would like it to be I leave it there then we could make a sketch 
on this plane where we have a spline going from one to another. So I go for a sketch and the plane is already selected. Look at the corner. Let's go flat. And if it flips in the wrong direction, what do you think is the wrong direction? You could go for space bar again. I'll make a spline. And now it's really difficult to say where we should position this. So I, I will not connect it here. Uh, we, we will attach it later. So I, I just make a spline, something like that. Escape. And remember that we could always adjust this later on. Right now it's interesting to, to connect this where the side profile hits the sketch. And it doesn't necessarily need to be on the highest point here. So if we tumble in space a little bit, we could see that it's really difficult to say. It seems like it's a little bit to the left of the, of the point there. So let's let's stay in a in an angled view here and shift click. First I click that one and then I shift click this one that goes straight through that peers the sketch. And if you look in the panel here, you also have the peers as a constraint. So if I click here, it will find the point where this profile hits the sketch plane and it seems to be a little bit to the left of that point so we have a piercing there okay let's do it again this time that point should be piercing this one so I shift click that and we don't really know where it is so let's see where it ends up pierce okay so now we have it connected if I accept that we could still go in flat mode to continue to work on, on this profile here. So if we adjust this one again to be vertical, then we know that it's absolutely flat down there. Uh, if this will be plastic molded, we, we actually need a little bit of angle there. So mm, yeah, but for the moment in this exercise, we just make that one horizontal and that one vertical and accept that. Okay, we're done with that sketch as well. So I go out from the sketch, nothing in the corner. So now we have three sketches. Let's call this a guide curve. So the plane number one could be hidden. So right click and say goodbye. Let's stretch a surface now, and we will do that with the loft command. And now it's important to not use this one, because then it will be a solid. Nothing wrong with that, but we will be using surfaces. So let's find the surface tools. Uh, everything could be found under insert and surface, but Instead of going this long way to find what you're searching for, you could just right click in this toolbar here and add in uh, surfaces. So that is a, another possibility. So just right click and go down until you find surfaces and then you have a toolbar that you could use. So in this case, I would like to loft so I choose loft command, sketch one, sketch two. So we have a surface that goes straight down here. To shape this surface now, we have several possibilities. First of all, we have a guide curve here. But before we use that guide curve, we could also look at start and end constraints. Here you have a nice opportunity to choose to go straight out from the profile. So if you choose that one, suddenly it goes straight out and you also have the power of, of this one here so you, you could just drag the arrow and you see that it goes further out you also could do changes in the menu here so if i bring this down a little bit 1.2 maybe 
you can see that it almost follows the guide curve so maybe we don't need it uh, but let's see uh, we change the other constraint and that is the end constraint also to normal to proof profile and again we have a power arrow that we could work with uh, we have a guide curve and it, it, it almost the same profile as the guide curve so let's see if it makes any difference if you scroll down you have a window for guide curve activate it make it blue SOLIDWORKS is waiting for information when it's blue so guide curve and I just go in and click that one and it changed a little bit so in this case the guide curve didn't do a lot but a little bit we accept this surface and now we have an infinitely thin surface there okay so let's mirror this one mirror I choose the mirror plane hover above this plane here and we can see that the front plane is the one that we would like to mirror around features to mirror and they have here you have a blue window so you click on this one just to realize that nothing happens the thing is this is not a feature that could be mirrored so maybe faces to mirror now it doesn't work either so in this case it's body it's called a surface body so now when bodies to mirror it's blue marked I could go for this one and we get a preview and with a right click I could choose accept here okay so we're almost a solid here so now we just need a surface down here underneath so we could go out in the surface menu and just hover and see what could work for us boundary surface hmm could work field surface planner surface in this case it's planner so let's go for a planner surface also boundary surface could be used but it might give us a more complicated geometry uh, so we know it's planner so let's go for a planner surface and go for the bounding entities and I will accept that with a right click great so now we have three surface bodies so what we could do now if they are leakage free we could knit them together so knit it means that we could also try to form a solid so in the surface menu there we go knit surface combines two or more uh, surfaces together so I click on knit that one that one and the one underneath what is important here now is to choose try to form solid otherwise there will be no solid object so try to form solid here we could also see the tolerances that is used for for this knitting command sometimes that could be important to tweak right now we hope that it will go well I choose accept and look at that a solid body perfect so that means we have a solid body that we have made from surfacing great